there's not two of us. I'm just a figment of this old man's imagination. This old fool's not got long left to live and he's got himself into a predicament that he's not going to get himself out. So I thought I'd take over his consciousness and help to get the story moving that little bit faster. So, we best to uh, hurry up and uh, start at the beginning and uh, get through as quickly as possible before this old fool becomes a permanent fixture of this prison. Joe, Joe, Joe. How's it going? The hell do you want, you old bastard? Uh, Joe, you find your wife yet? No, but I just had a strange man come up to me and give me a box. What's in a the box? box? What was in the box? What's in the box? It was just a key with a, about a pink cage, room 34. Mm. Oh, okay. Where's this pink cage? Oh, Joe, get uh, um, up there, Joe. Up yep. altitude. Up where? Up there. Up north a little up bit that, here. Yeah, up that road. On Hollywood. I'm intrigued. I gotta go and find out what's in this room. Hell yeah, I'd say go fucking find out, man. Shit. So after getting the directions from the lovely baby at the hospital, I made my way up to the pink cagey. Wow, Zoe, what a place. Absolutely stings. My god, looks like it's been vacant for a while. Oh my god, dirty magazines and some type of drill. Wonder what's been going on here. What the hell's all this? Joe, Harry, human heist, must find the hitman. Murder! And lots of pictures of me and Martha and what seems to be Harry. What the hell's been going on? Harry, right, old video cassette. Let's have a let's see what's on that. What the hell is all this mumbo jumbo? <laughs> My god, that guy looks like Columbo. I might uh, give him a call, he might help you at a thing, Martha. After leaving Lee King a message on his answer phone, I decided to go back to the house, Betty, and show everybody what I'd found. Did yeah. you find that at the motel? Yeah, it's all in the motel room. Looks like it all belongs to me. I mean, that's that's nice. Well, how does that work out? What's going on? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. If that's Did you did Martha leave it for you? I don't know. There's stuff in there. Ah, it's, it's all a plot thickening. There's some other bits in there. There's some letters and there's some stuff in there that uh, I gotta go and speak to a certain gentleman about. Okay. Oh, okay. Apparently he owes me money as well. I don't know what's going on. Well, I hope you have fun, Joe. Yeah, I might be able to... Safe. I might be able to buy another Martha. And then later on in that day, I, I was picked up by the Blue Gang. What a lovely bunch of people they are. They wanted to help me find Martha and said it'd be best to check the cemeteries. Hey Ellie, can you look where the cemetery is? I totally forgot. Yep. I think it's around here. I'm definitely close. That'd be the biggest mound in the in the cemetery. She was 600 pounds, you know. Really? Holy shit. Oh, she was a big, big woman. That's a lot of weight. I like my women big, you know. Yeah. Big people need loving too, right? Oh, you know, you, you know what they say about big women? They're damn good cooks. And after we couldn't find Martha in the cemetery, they retreated me to a nice glass of whiskey down at the local bar and also introduced me into coke. That stuff's great. Oh, I run down the street. Oh my God, I felt like 17. They should make this coke stuff illegal, because it's highly doing? addictive. Um, Joe? Oh? Joe? Whoa, I'm getting addicted to this stuff. This crazy no, stuff. No, Joe, you shouldn't. No, oh. Joe. Joe, oh my god. Whoa, no, comes. you shouldn't be. Hey, it's the rush. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Joe, oh my god. Hello?
hello? Is nobody gonna come help me? me. Um, well, Joe? Uh, uh, oh, well. Joe, are you okay? Yeah, that's some stuff. I can, where do I find more of it? I don't, I don't know, Joe, but you shouldn't be taking that. It's gonna mess your heart up. I thought he said it was good for you. Oh, no. Really? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, don't do that. Oh, right. I, I get nerds to take it. I've, they've been giving it to me here. They said I could have some whiskey and coke. Oh, you, sh you shouldn't be doing that at your age, Joe. Yeah, my, the strongest thing Martha ever used to let me have was uh, full fat milk. You shouldn't be having that at your age either, Joe. What, milk? Full fat milk. Why not? It's the best, I tell you. It keeps me young. I mean, okay, you know, but, you know, you gotta watch your, you know, you gotta watch your health. Tell me, my God, what the hell are you doing, yo? I've been He's on... doing drugs. Okay, yeah, what the hell? Take care of him, don't worry. Whoa! Okay. Well, I can head yeah. rush again. Right, don't give him any drugs. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take good care of you. Don't worry about okay. it, Joe. You'll be fine. Bye. No, you won't. I don't know. See ya. Get in the car. All right, yeah, I think we need to talk. Yeah, I think we do. What the hell are you doing? Sneaking around. Well, uh, well, we started back at the beginning. Now, a strange man came up to me and he gave me some keys for an apartment and I went up there. And there's some all manner yeah. of manner of stuff and information. Right. Not only that, it's uh, there's uh, there's some things that are quite confused now. Apparently, back in the day when I worked as a security guard at Humane. Yeah. Now, apparently, me and you were buddies back then. So what you say? Sorry, we have a buddies. Well, there's some information to say that uh. I gave you some particulars for, I don't know, uh, I don't know what you had over me, but apparently I gave you some particulars and you went and robbed Humane, which is one of the reasons why I had to leave. Right, about that. Yeah, so, now I'm an honest yeah. man. Now normally I would go straight to the police. So you want money off me? You're absolutely insane, you know that. Uh, I'm just letting you letting you know, Harry. Why do you think I got the money? Well, I'm just letting you know that I got a big bag of information, and if I don't get the money, I'm going to the police. Right. And that's friend to friend, you know? Yeah. Be, I'm, only, I'm only doing yeah. that because apparently yeah, we were you. friends in the day. So, what kind of information do you know? Well, I don't know, I got some schematics and things like that, and there's pictures of me and you. Right. And then, uh... I got some newspaper clippings of the big heist that happened, and I got implicated in it. Yeah. Yeah, that was unfortunate. And that's when I had to leave, and had to leave pretty sharpish and take Frank. Yeah, when was this? I don't know, the paper clipping was about 17 years ago. Right. Yeah. Right, listen. I'm gonna show you something cool. Right, yeah. Yeah, listen. So what happened on that boat? Yeah. Is that you asked me for $200,000. Being a good friend I am, yeah. Yeah. And you know what I did? You, uh, you said that uh, you would pay me and I accidentally fell off the boat. Uh, no. Not exactly. Listen. When you started laying out this whole story about going to the police if you didn't get any money and blah de blah de blah I threw you overboard. You threw me overboard? Yeah, and then Martha, she was in absolute shock and she choked on a goddamn lunch which happened to be a blueberry at that given second. What? what? You threw me over the boat and left me out in the ocean to die? Yeah, yeah. Last thing I saw, a shark was coming towards you. And then Martha was dead in the boat. Yeah, so I got back into land and I just left. But it looked like so, we, we were friends back you know, then. Based on that story, I think you know what's going to happen right now, don't you? Well, I'd be concerned if there was water around me, so no. Ah! Yeah. I then ended up in the hospital where I was treated for mild concussion. Okay, what would you say your pain level is? Oh, I got a splitting headache. It's like a ten. Okay. Would you would you like um, some morphine for the pain, or would you like me to just give you some like ibuprofen or something? I don't oh, know what your tolerance for medication is. Oh, I, 
I, I suppose uh, just just some ibuprofen. That'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. That's what Martha used to give me after hitting me. And once released from hospital, I decided it was time to go to the police station and give them all the information I had about Harry. But on the way, I was approached by this gentleman. I got some information you might be interested in. Right, okay, I'm all ears. It's, uh, it's about a uh, Martha. Yeah, my dead wife. Yeah, not so dead, apparently. What do you mean, not so dead? Well, get into the car and I'll explain. Oh my god, the love of my life is still alive! How do you know this? Uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. Just wait here a second. Okay. I'll be right back. Hey. Hey, okay. Yeah, you don't have to drive any sleeping pills, do you? I got a real trouble going to sleep. Something strong, preferably. Hey, this is tough stuff I like. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Gave me some of that cocaine! Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I didn't just hear that. What are you talking about? Hey, appreciate it. You are. What's your name, Mr. Cuss? See you guys. I'm gonna take care. Uh, take this old man for a little ride. What's your name? What's your name? No, we really just believe him, don't we? Hey. What are you going to your name, buddy? We're going to meet Martha! Oh, yeah, we're going to meet Martha. My name's Hunter. Hey, Hunter. My name is Tobias. Tobias. We're going to see... Yeah, I'm going to see Martha! Bye, Joe! We're going to see Martha! I knew that Harry was lying to me. Harry? Yeah, Harry told me she was dead and he owes me lots of money. He owes you a lot of money? Yeah, I was going to... I was going to... Well, I had helped him do a heist back in the day. Well, not helped. He was, uh, he got some information. I gave him some key cards for Humane and some plans, and he went and robbed the place. My God. Yeah. Have you told anyone else about this? No, I was just about to go to the police, though, because when I found out, I confronted Harry, and he told me about the story 17 years ago. I confronted him with the same story, and I wanted 200000 So... Right. He took me out on a boat and he threw me over and got me eaten by sharks and then he went and played hide and seek with Martha and stuffed a blueberry in her mouth and killed her. My God, that's terrible. That's what he told me, yeah. And then and then yeah. after that, I got bushwhacked. There was a... a, a something hit me from behind and I, everything just went black. Right. So I tried to find him well. again and I was going to go to the police. Yeah, fair enough. Listen, she's in a... All right, hold on, I gotta unbuckle. Oh, there we go. Oh, I hope she likes my new hat. Yeah, just in this door. It's a shame Frank's not here. Good hell, it's Frank. Hey, uh, my pet monkey. Right, right, right. Where's Martha? She's in a... I've got a lot of catching up to do. I suppose you want to listen to the whole story, Tobias. No, I'm, I'm okay. What the you. hell's going on? Sorry, sorry to bring you down. I like this, but I thought it would be the easy way. Where's Martha? Listen, Martha's dead. What? How'd she die? What, she's dead again? No, she's been dead the whole time. What, why, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you get my hopes up? Because uh, a certain someone paid me a decent amount of money to make you... Disappear. Who? Oh. Who do you think? I'm thinking. You're not very good at thinking, are you? Oh, I'm. I'm. I. I got. Hold on. Is this Harry? Yes, Harry paid me to make you go away because you you're causing trouble. I'm not causing trouble, I just wanted my share or... And, uh, and making people go away is my speciality. What the... Listen, okay. take these two pills yeah. and eat them. Okay. There you go. Do you need some water to flush them down or are you okay? Yeah, I can swallow them. Oh. Uh. Oh. 
This is cocaine. Will I be? Will I be? Yeah, you you talk too much. You you know you you tell everyone about everything, and you should learn to keep your mouth shut. So, oh, for all I care, you're gonna stay down here until you're too old to stay down here anyway. You're gonna be bones. Yeah. Everything's getting very woozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take it easy. Just relax yourself. You'll be fine. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Now, just to lock him in there and then make him disappear. I love an easy job. Uh, there's 17 bricks on the wall over there. And there's 52 over there. How's that many that make now? Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. I'm a goddamn winner. Oh, what does my life come to? Oh, my God. No way. Did you see that? Oh, you did. What? 